Good morning everyone, long time no see. I haven't done a vlog in a while. I just felt like vlogging today. Just after getting off a work phone call, quite busy for the last few days. I was supposed to meet up with one of the girls today to go for a walk. I live right beside a really nice like kind of walkway. I don't think I'm gonna be able to meet up with her now because bloody work is just a lot today and I'm not even gonna take a lunch break. I'll meet up with her maybe during the week. I feel so bad because I haven't seen anybody, obviously like COVID's crap as it is. But you think you might be able to meet up for a socially distanced walk. Can't even really do that, even within your 5K. Anyway, doesn't matter. I am in for a hospital appointment tomorrow morning. I have my glucose test to get done, you know, for your gestational diabetes. And I'm so out of breath the last few days, I'd say since Saturday, I was lying on the bed and I was like, I cannot breathe. And Paddy was like, what is wrong with you? I was like, the baby is just killing me. He had to go into the office today. Something urgent came up and they were all, well, not they all, but like people that were on his project, which is two people, were summoned into work. So he's had to go into the office today. He had to get a letter to go in because, you know, you stop by the guards or whatever. So he's gone into the office today. We ordered chest of drawers for the baby for clothes from Ikea and that's been delivered this weekend. So I'm super excited we're gonna put that together. I really hope that it does arrive because we ordered it but way back in like the beginning of January, I think even like late December and obviously like Ikea have shut down and then they're like waiting for deliveries to come in. The only reason I didn't get it, we went to Ikea. The only reason we didn't get it that day is because it was out of stock. So it's finally in stock and we've gotten two days where we were told it was gonna arrive. There comes Chewy. This is the second day. Let, let's hope, fingers crossed, that it does arrive. Oh, hello. How are you? So good to see you this morning. Are you getting groomed tomorrow? Yes, you are. At least somebody can get their hair done. We have a mobile groomer. He lives very close to where we are and he can still do his grooming. It's considered essential. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I annoying you? You're trying to clean your paw. Can I have this? Oh, I'm sorry. You want it? Okay. She was very protective over his ball. You do not touch. <laughs> And he wanted to throw up for him all the time, but he will not give it back. But anyway, my little hairy mammoth is going to be groomed tomorrow. And I'm kind of sad because I love his hair when it's like this, but it's just too much fur for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Especially now spring is coming. It's too much hair. Baby is like right underneath my ribs. I can feel them kicking underneath my ribs. And they're giving me like, such bad breeding problems. I also have all my makeup brushes here that are the last batch to go for cleaning. I have done so much cleaning, so much decluttering over the last few days. I am just so excited. I feel like a new person. Do you ever, oh good God. Hang on now a sec too, because my laptop's on the bed there as well. They're the last few brushes to go for the wash. I've actually so much to keep me busy between work and then like decluttering and, and then getting organized for the baby. And it's a really good thing too, because Ireland's gone into a further six week lockdown. I didn't suspect we'd be getting out of this like lockdown anytime soon because I knew how high the cases were and I know I said that like way back in the beginning of January we had like 8,000 cases a day which is just like huge considering the size of Ireland like it's just a lot of people. But apparently it was from travel like people coming home to Ireland over Christmas and then mingling and I don't know like it's just it is what it is. I kind of have just gotten to the stage where I'm just like we'll be out of lockdown one day soon hopefully I just wish like if this was the last lockdown I could not care less that we were in it for three months I don't care because when we actually do come out of lockdown it will be three months but I just feel like this is not the last lockdown it's just not and then there's a shortage of the vaccine as well I can't remember which one it was because I just have tuned out of the news I just don't care anymore I'm sick and tired of listening to bad news sometimes I listen to it I'm like I kind of suspect this myself and I know the things with the vaccine and stuff like the vaccine they were saying last night I did watch one thing on it last night and they were saying this vaccine may not be the silver bullet that we've all been like looking for you know the savior thing and just to be prepared and I'm like I can't listen to any more of this 
I just can't. So instead I'm watching Married at First Sight which is quite dramatic and I'm loving that instead and I'm just like tuned out of everything got to do with corona and lockdowns and vaccines and everything and I'm just concentrating on light-hearted things like you know Married at First Sight and instead focusing more on the baby and I'm just thinking like the baby's going to be here, I'm 26 weeks today, the baby's going to be here in 14 weeks, like that is just absolutely crazy, fingers crossed because I want this baby to cook <laughs> until their due date. I want to get as close as possible to the 40 weeks as we can. I honestly cannot believe how quick my pregnancy has gone and I even feel, I feel great like the last few weeks. The only thing is the shortness of breath the last few days but hopefully that's just the position where the baby is. Apparently it's supposed to get so much worse and do not mention that you have shortness of breath to anybody because they'll think that you're, you're, you've corona and you're contagious. <laughs> even if you haven't left your house in ages. I went to Aldi yesterday, it was the first time I left this house to go into a supermarket, I think, I don't even know when the last time I was in a supermarket, but I went into Aldi because I had this like craving for bagels and spinach, tomato, turkey and cheese. I just wanted that, I don't know why. So I went and got my supplies in Aldi and I was like, this is the first time I've been in an Aldi and I don't know how long. I do go out for my subway once a week that's about the height of it. It's like, there's nothing to do, it's hilarious. Like you're trying to like figure out things to do, like building Ikea furniture is the highlight of my week this week and keeping myself busy with work. I've also ordered a ton of products for YouTube so I hope to have tons of videos coming your way very, very soon. I have like skincare products from Boots, own brand, I have the new Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation, the reformulated one, because I don't know, I did a review of it a few years ago, I don't know, you probably, you may not remember, but I hated the formula of it, so I bought the new one because I liked the coverage, but I hated the smell and I hated that it, there was so many bad chemicals in it and whatnot. So I got the new one to test out. I ended up buying the Colourpop Cold Fox or Cool Fox or something palette and I'm gonna do like a little review of that. The new mascara from Maybelline, I wanted to review that, like the, the one that makes your lashes look super, super long. It's been out of stock for forever and I saw it was in stock in Boots yesterday, so I ordered that. And I did a massive order of Makeup Revolution as well, but because of COVID and stuff and Brexit and everything, I don't know when that order is gonna get here. If it gets here like next month, I'd be delighted. So I have a ton of videos coming your way. I'm sure I'm probably forgetting something. And then I also wanna do my second trimester update and a couple of like little baby videos and stuff. I obviously realize that I don't want to bombard you guys with tons and tons of baby content. It is what it is for now. There's gonna be a lot of baby content once babies arrived. I'm obviously gonna be talking about my experience and stuff. I just wanted to kind of get a lot of beauty videos out for you guys because there's nothing else to be doing except for looking at beauty things. I'm gonna go and get some breakfast now and I'll talk to you later. I have yapped on for seven minutes. That is just crazy. Okay, so I finished up a good bit of work. I worked through lunch. It's now three o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and meet one of the girls, Neve, for a socially distance walk. I actually need to communicate with another human being. I'm actually going insane. <laughs> so I'm so excited to see her. I'm bringing Chewy for a walk as well. And we're just gonna have a little chat. We're right beside our houses. So we're gonna go for a nice long walk. So yeah, we're gonna do about a 5K walk. I need to get out and get some exercise. My lungs need to open because my breathing's so bad. Yeah, I'm just really hoping that the rain stays away. It's dry right now, thank God. And uh, yeah, I'm just prepared. We'll put this hood up anyway, if it does rain. Loads of people ask me where I get this jacket or where I've gotten this jacket. I think I got it in Vera Moda. It's the jacket that I always wear to Paddy's football matches, but obviously they haven't been on in ages. But it was just great because it's really warm. Oh, also, I just want to show you the bump update because we are 26 weeks today. So the bump is looking pretty big now. It's crazy. Took the jacket off so you can see it a bit better. But yeah, like it's huge. Well, I feel like it's huge. It's just so weird seeing how big it's after getting. So I'm back from my walk and I got drenched. <laughs> like that misty rain. It was so good to see Neve and just go for a walk. We did a five and a half kilometer walk, which is great because I feel like that's what I needed today. It's getting dark now, so I'm gonna finish off little bits of work and then I'm gonna finish off editing 
the video for today which is my palette no not palette to clutter my bronzers to clutter I should be finished editing that in about an hour and then I'll export it so it should be up by about six o'clock well hello day two of vlogs I hope that I can get this vlog up tomorrow I am heading off to my one hour glucose test right now for the gestational diabetes I feel like real nervous every time I have to go into the hospital for any sort of appointment but like this one's not really a big deal you basically go in I think you're not allowed to eat an hour before I haven't had breakfast so I'm just gonna go in now and we'll just see what happens then you have to take this really sugary glucose drink they take your blood find out more when I'm actually at this but basically it's to test if you've gestational diabetes because obviously if you've gestational diabetes you have more of a likelihood of having a bigger baby they just monitor you closer then you have to change your diet watch what you're eating etc etc but I mean during pregnancy you're kind of like doing that anyway you know I'm eating the exact same way as I was before pregnancy now so we'll see how I get on back from the hospital that actually went really well it was very straightforward there was nothing really complicated about it really easy they took my bloods they took a urine sample and then they sent off my bloods to be tested for the glucose to make sure I don't have gestational diabetes. I have an infection. I'm not really sure what it is. They tested my urine so it came back with elevated white blood cells and protein so they think I have an infection so I have to wait till hear, to hear back and um, go on antibiotics possibly if it is like a kidney infection or something like that but not too worried about it. seen my gynae and he checked the baby's vitals. Looking at the heart again. Ooh looking at the kidneys, looking at the bladder, and he looked at the baby's spine, and he said that the baby's perfect. Baby is measuring a week behind, but the gynae doesn't seem too worried about it. He said that's kind of normal, see them fluctuate. Sometimes they measure a week ahead, sometimes they measure a week behind. Baby's head is down, feet are up, but he said that the baby will probably move <laughs> more than likely. My gynae is so nice. I have to go on an iron supplement. I had like slightly on the lower side of the iron levels, but they were pretty much normal, if that makes sense. So I was on the low side of normal. I really want to film today and I was thinking of doing like a full face of makeup that's under five euro so it's been a bit of a challenge. I think I have enough for a full face so I might actually do that right now because I have a bit of time and I'm not due back into work till late this afternoon because I took the whole, not the whole day off but I took a half day because I knew I was going to be in the hospital and I just kind of wanted to relax and not have to worry about like rushing around early in the morning but you know what I mean. So I think I might do that now because like I said it's just gone 10 to 1 so why not? I thought I'd get back to you guys a little bit sooner than now. The day has gotten away from me altogether. I'm just going to pull this down. I am finished for the day. I'm going to edit a video for tomorrow. I just need to do a product you know like the way I show like clips of the product that I'm actually featuring in the video I need to do that so I'll just wait to do that tomorrow and I'll edit another video tonight for tomorrow anyway so I just went on to Instagram there because I haven't been on Instagram in so long and I know I keep getting messages like from loads of people and I'm just really bad at like responding because in January I kind of like took like a little bit of a detox from Instagram I just found that I was toxically watching it do you ever do that like where you're like oh my god I can't stand what this person is saying and I don't agree with what they're saying and I was just like not liking the content I was seeing I don't know what's going on with this lash I'm gonna have to pull it off I just wasn't really liking the content I was seeing I didn't really enjoy what I was watching on Instagram so I was like I need to get off this for the month of January so I haven't really been posting on it and I haven't really been looking at anybody I just kind of like dip in and out to kind of let some of my followers over there know what the hell I'm at but um, this way I feel so happy on YouTube because I just enjoy the content that I see on YouTube. I enjoy making content for YouTube and I enjoy watching videos on YouTube and I've never felt anything other than that way about it. Other than when like there was drama going on in the beauty community but like I mean that went away ages ago. I just found Instagram, like I don't know, does anyone else feel like that? Sometimes you're on it and you're like oh my god why am I watching this person? I don't agree with anything that they're saying or like pushing products and stuff and I just was like oh, I'm so over this so I just unfollowed a whole lot of people there around the beginning of January I think like the second week of January I done like a massive purge of people like last summer as well but I did it again in January and I'll probably do it again because every single time I go on log into Instagram I just get like 
ugh, why is this person doing this? I have a massive mess to clean up right now. Like, there's so much stuff here. These are the brushes that I keep, like, I am procrastinating them so bad right now because I keep leaving them here, being like, oh yeah, wash them. They're the last little bit to go. And these ones at the top are already washed and I have to put them away. Uh, but I'm just such a procrastinator about them. I don't know what it is. They've been sitting there for like a week and a half and I still haven't done it. But yeah, these are all the products that I was talking about today. Um, and not all of them. I put most of them away. But the rest of them are just like hanging out here. So I'm going to put them all away now. Because I can't be looking at them for the rest of the night. Put everything away. I just realised I have my ring light here. So why didn't I just use that? I was wanting to talk to you a little bit about the fasting glucose thing as well. Because I didn't really get to chat with you earlier on about that. You only do a one hour glucose test. They've gotten rid of the like, you know, fasting for 12 hours. I actually fasted for 14 hours myself. Because I just... That was the last time I'd eaten. But they've done away with it. It's like a one hour of fasting. Straightforward. It's really easy. It was grand. Got your bloods taken, seeing the gynecologist, seeing the nurse. It's grand, it's fine. I actually thought that it would be way worse because I had this like thing about this this glucose that I had to drink, like the sugary drink. I was like, it's gonna be awful. It was actually fine. It just tasted like really strong in my body. I was talking to my friends yesterday or like during the week, like different friends, where they were just saying like that people do freak you out during pregnancy and they do always give you like their worst stories and their life experiences and all you'll be torn asunder and you'll have no life. And then when it actually happens to you, it's not really that bad because I mean, everyone deals with things differently. People just tell you their horror stories. They really, really do. I don't know why, because it's not good to tell like a pregnant person your horror stories because all you're gonna do is just freak them out. Like what? why do you have to tell them? something terrible that happened to you once they still have all those things to go through. I don't get it. Okay, so I'm gonna go down and get dinner now. I've talked about this already, but I've probably mentioned it when I'm talking about my second trimester update, that I've just no appetite, like none at all. I just have to force myself and remind myself, you have to eat, you haven't eaten in a couple of hours, eat, eat, eat. I don't know why I have no appetite. I'm going to see my doctor in two days two days two weeks so uh, i will mention it to her then i kind of like mentioned it briefly to the nurse and she was just like look don't worry about it appetite will fluctuate and when you hit the third trimester it'll increase so i'm in my third trimester the next time i go see my doctor so, do you know what i'm not going to worry about it because i was speaking to my gynecologist and i was speaking to my nurse and they're all like the professionals in the area and just you know, there's nothing I can do other than just kind of remind myself to frequently eat. This light is so bright. I'm going to turn it off now because it's just ridiculously bright. And now we're in the dark. So I'm going to take off my makeup and it's still intact. I really love this foundation, guys. It's so good and it's like 250. It's like really, 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 really good foundation. I'm actually just looking at it in the mirror. Like it looks so good on my skin. I'll just set you down right here. So I edited the video that I filmed recording this look, which is a full face using products that are under fiber. <sighs> Walking up the stairs has been strenuous. Started editing my January favorites. I also have a haul video to edit and I think I have like two other videos to edit. And then we're up to date. Then I'm gonna remove my makeup. I'm gonna take my cellar water. This is the Nivea one. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna wash my face with the Elmaz Superfood. Um, clock cleansing uh water cleansing foam because i absolutely love that so i'm just gonna take that now take my eyes off do you know what that i'm so surprised that that foundation has lasted all day and just stayed intact i know i keep going on about it but i'm just actually so delighted i know it's a great foundation but you know when you haven't used something in ages and then you go back to using it you're like oh my god why did i ever stop using this look at this mahusa spot i don't know what's going on with it and I also have these like two marks on my skin since i got pregnant it's really really weird and they just don't go away ever no matter what i put on them no matter what i do they just always remain there they're not a spot and they're not like they're like under the skin or something it's really annoying i really like this this whole brand it's expensive but it's actually such a good brand that I don't mind paying. I don't ever mind paying money for skincare because you know what's like really good for your face. I'm gonna use the Ren Daily AHA Tonic. I don't know if I've talked about this in a video other than my monthly favorites, which you'll see soon, but this is such a good product. It's really, really, really good. It has like a little pump 
on the top that you just pump up the product and you just kind of run it across your face. I don't think it's expensive. I thought that the Ren brand may have been, sometimes it kind of takes my breath away sometimes when I first initially inhale it. It can sting if you go across spots or something like that. Like that one's stinging a bit so I would advise kind of avoiding them um, if it hurts you or you know, but I just feel like if it's stinging, it might be drying out the area. The other way now, I've double cleansed my face. I used my my cellar water and then I used my cleanser. And I just wanna show you all the stuff that's still on my face. Look, still a little bit there and a little bit there. And I've cleansed twice. It's like always gonna be makeup residue left on my skin. Okay, so I'm gonna moisturize now. The lights are really pink in here. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'll turn on the overhead light. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my oil, which is the Midnight Recovery Oil from Kiehl's, and I don't think it's gonna focus on it, but you can see it there. And I really like this oil for hydrating my skin. You're supposed to put like the thinnest skincare products on first, so like oils and serums and stuff like that, they all go on first. This just keeps me super, super, super hydrated. And it just makes my skin look so nice in the morning. So next, I'm going to put my eye cream on. I don't really ever kind of worry about what way I do the eye cream situation. Like sometimes I will do my moisturizer first and then I'll do my eye cream. But I feel like if you put the eye cream on first, it's just easier to spread around than if you put your moisturizer on first. Uh, I just feel that this works way better. So I have two different moisturizers. I have a day cream and I have a night cream. The night one I use is the Overnight Glow. This is a dark spot sleeping cream. I've just been using this for the last couple of weeks. It's from Ren. I haven't really noticed any difference in my skin other than, I don't know, I'm getting like breakouts. I have this spot which is nasty. So I'm gonna take the Ren Clear Calm Non-Drying Spot Treatment and this is a blemish prone product so all I do is just take a little bit of that on my finger just a tiny bit like that and just dab it onto the area it doesn't sting or anything like that and normally in the morning I wake up and the spot shall be gone <laughs> anyway guys I am fit for the bed I hope you had a fantastic day this video is really really ridiculously long I hope you enjoy it nonetheless sorry about my appearance right now <laughs> maybe a night's sleep might cure me I should be getting an earlier night but sure look we're up at like half seven in the morning I'm gonna start work early tomorrow we'll talk to all you guys in the AM <laughs>